Okay, good morning class. I hope that you are doing well. Please stay safe. Um, for today, our lesson is about the uh, word is about word problems that involves z-score. Let me give you an example. This is the first example. Suppose a population was normally distributed with a mean of 10 and a standard deviation of 2. What proportion of the scores are below 12.5? So if you see this kind of question, we're talking about the z-score, okay? So in order for us to answer this question, the first thing we need to know is, of course, the formula of the z-score and just apply the formula, okay? So the formula for the, the z-score is equal to the observation or the score minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. Here, our x is the observation, which is the which is 12.5. This is the mean, and the mean is also given, and that's equal to 10. And the standard deviation is also given, and that is equal to 2. Okay? So x is 12.5. Our mean is 10. And our standard deviation is 2. Okay. So this is equal to 12.5 minus 10 is equal to 2.5 divided by 2. So 2.5 divided by 2 is equal to 1.25. So that's the answer. Okay? What proportion of the scores are below 12.5? It's 1.25. Okay. Okay, so let's proceed to the um, second example. Example number two, a normal distribution of scores has a standard deviation of 10. Find the z-score corresponding to each of the following values. For letter A, a score of 20 points above the mean. Okay, if you remember the formula, our formula for the z-score is the observation or the score minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. Now here, we don't know the mean. We don't know the value of the mean. But what we know is that that observation is 20, is 20 points above the mean. So it means that if we will subtract that certain score, and we don't know that score, to the mean, the difference is positive 20 because it's 20 points above the mean. So we can just get rid of the, numerate, the whole numerator and we will just replace that by 20 and it should be positive because it's above the mean, okay? And our standard deviation is 10, and this will just be equal to 2, okay? Now, let's answer the second one. A score of 10 points below the mean. Again, our formula is this. We don't know the score. We don't know the mean, but what we know is that that certain observation is 10 points below the mean. So if it's below the mean, it means it's a negative. Okay? So it will just be negative 10 over negative 10. And that is equal to negative 1. Okay? So in answering this kind of problems, you have to pay attention to these keywords. What are those keywords? Above and below. Again, we don't know the observation here and we don't know the mean, but it's very important that we have this information 20 points above the mean, and that's 20 over 10. It's positive because it's above the mean. 10 points below the mean, and that's negative because it's below the mean. So it's negative 10 over 10, and that's equal to negative 1. Okay, so let me give you another example. A normal distribution of scores has a standard deviation of 10. Find the z-score corresponding to each of the following values. For letter A, a score of 60 where the mean score is 40. And for letter B, a score of 80 where the mean score is 55. Now, just to remind you about the formula for the uh, z-score, we have this observation minus the mean divided by the standard deviation. 
So for these problems, for these two problems, it will not be difficult because our observation, the mean and the standard deviation are already given. So we'll just plug them in, all those values. X is our uh, score, which is 60 and for letter A. This is the mean, that's 40, and our standard deviation according to the problem is 10. So this will be equal to 20 divided by 10, okay? And that is equal to positive 2. And for letter B, is the formula, a score of 80, okay? Minus the mean score, which is 55, divided by the standard deviation, which is also 10. So 80 minus uh, 55 is equal to 25 divided by 10, and that will give us 